alternating bit here, I thought I would just demonstrate that what a difference the Synthesis Technology MOTM120 sub-octave multiplexer can do. It's a sub-octave filter. I mean, it brings out a very raw, low-end sound. And honestly, I do not use this module much at all, but when I do, yes, it reminds me of why I got it. And that's what I'm kind of doing here right now, and I, I guess there aren't enough demos out there, so I thought I'd just show you real quick just one A-B switch example of what a difference it can make. So we're gonna start off right now with a bass line, but it doesn't really sound like a bass line yet. Right now, it's basically the output of a dot-com oscillator, uh, pulse wave and sine wave combined through the mixer. I have that going into this uh, quad switch matrix. One is the dry oscillator, and then two is going through the sub-octave multiplexer. I'll also note that I've got going into the B channel, there's A and B, and then there's sub and cross. Uh, I'm also feeding it the exact same melody, um, the one volt per octave pitch out of the triangle dedicated jack going into there just to add more fatness and you'll see the difference. So here let's go ahead and start. And now we'll hear it with the octomultiplexer. What a difference. Hopefully that gives you an idea.